Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about a very important bundler called Parcel.js. I'm sure you have used Webpack and Rollup and other bundlers, but Parcel is pretty unique. So I think it's important to learn to a lot of people, especially if you have like a, a smaller to mid-level project, you can do a lot with Parcel with zero configuration. And that's the, the keyword, zero configuration. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to understand what Parcel.js does. We're going to build a very small project and understand how the bundler really works and how the zero configuration really works. And we're also going to build a React project, a simple React project uh, without any configuration. And we can translate that uh, project into a TypeScript React project with also zero configuration. So we're going to look at it all. And welcome to Texit Tutorials. If you go to the parcel.js, a blazing fast zero configuration web application bundler, which means it doesn't have a configuration file, just like uh, Webpack or other bundler, you have to, if you, if you, if I want to use a uh, SAS or something else in our project, if I want to make it a React project or something else, I have to configure that project to tell the, uh, the bundler that this is a React project or view project parcel automatically figures out and it's quite magic. So we'll, we'll look at it, how it works. And these are uh, some of the important things. As I said, it's blazingly fast bundler bundle time. It bundle all your asset like CSS, uh, HTML and other without any plugins required. It also uh, transforms. It uses uh, Babel, post CSS, post HTML automatically. So you don't have to Babel configuration and all that stuff. That's why it's called zero configuration. It's also allowed uh, code splitting, so you can create multiple bundle using dynamic imports. Uh, it also supports hot module replacement, which means uh, as you are typing in your, your code, browser would uh, take all your changes during the development and refresh it automatically. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna go to the, my command line uh, terminal and I have to create a project. So which is pretty simple. I'm just going to create a directory. So I'm going to say make directory and I'm going to call it try parcel. Okay, I'm going to CD into it and open it in the code editor. Now the folder is pretty much empty here. Okay, so let's start with uh, creating my package.json file. So for that, I would simply do npm init dash y. Usually when you initialize the, initialize the project, it will ask you a bunch of questions, right? What's the name of the project and all that stuff. By providing a white wife uh, flag, I'm saying, okay, say yes to everything. Uh, so set all the default and it already created it. And if I look at the package.json, it doesn't have much here. Okay. I don't have any dependencies or all, all that stuff. So let's uh, install our first dependency, which is the parcel bundler so that we have to install so that we can say, okay, this is a parcel project. So it's an npm install dash sheet. I'm gonna install it globally, parcel bundler. Okay, so now it has installed the parcel bundler. Now I can start my project. So I need to create my index.js. So in your project, you would have an entry point and usually your entry point would be index.html. So here I will have the same thing. So in then index.html, I can do HTML5, uh, which actually fills with the HTML5 template. So I don't have to do anything. Uh, the only thing I have to provide is a script tag. And I have to link the index.js file here. So I would say source equal to uh, index.js since they are in the same level. So here in the body, I would just simply say test and in the index.js, I would simply console log uh, test out. So this is a very simple project. It has an index.js and index.html. Now imagine this is our application. It's the simplest application, but nonetheless, it's an application and we want to bundle this. So from the command line, all I have to do is parcel and I need to provide an entry point into the project. So I would say, uh, use the index.html 
and hit enter. And it would create a disk folder. So this is where it would build our project. And it says build in 1.20 seconds. And it would give us a place where service is running. So I'm gonna copy this. It's running at the port 1234. I would see the test and I would also see inside inspect, I would also see the test. So it actually ran. Now, if I change this, let's say to test one and save it, it's hot loading so that I can see the change right away. Now let's look at what it has produced. So it has two things. It has cache and it has dist folder. So this folder has two things. It has index.html, which is as it is, and it has uh, the JS file and it also has a map file. When you do a, a regular build, you have you need to minify it so that your code is uh, quite small. And you can do that here. Uh, so I'm gonna control C, get out of here. And instead of doing parcel index.html, I'm going to do parcel build index.html. And I don't wanna use the same directory as dist, so I would say dash dash out directory as prod. And so when it builds for production, uh, it would build in, in a prod directory, which I don't have right now, but now it has created it. And if I look at it, it has minified the whole thing as expected. It also has minified the HTML and it also has a map file. So now this bundle you can deploy on a server uh, as an application. All right, so next thing I wanna do is I wanna use uh, SAS uh, uh, for, with this project. So instead of test one, I'm going to have a div and I'm gonna put the test one inside and I'm gonna style this div. But instead of using inline style, I can use SCSS. So for that, I'm gonna create a new folder called SCSS and inside I can create a file called main.scss and here I can simply do this div and I can style it with color red. Now I need to import this inside this index.html so that I can use it uh, inside index.html. So I can use the latest import syntax and the way it would work is I would say scss and main dot sc ss and we can check that there is no dependency at the moment there is no sas dependency so let's run our parcel command parcel and then entry into the project which is index dot html and you would notice that it's actually installing sas here and it would be installed here as a dependency. So now I see SAS. So it automatically does it for you. You don't really have to do it. And if I run the code, I get test one, which is now red. So with zero configuration, I can now use SAS in my project. I don't have to do any configuration. There is no uh, config file. Now this was a sim simple project. What if I wanna build a React project from scratch uh, with zero configuration using parcel? How would I do that? So if you go back to the parcel side, uh, here on the uh, left side, there are some recipes available. And if you wanna build a React project, then you have to follow these recipes. And mainly you have to install these two packages, React and React Dome. And the rest of the stuff would be done by parcel. If you, want, if you are building a Preact project, you can do, though, you can do so uh, using this. And you can do also view project and also TypeScript. So I'm gonna start with installing uh, two packages. npm install dash dash save uh, react. And the second package is react dom. All right, so if I go back to my package.json, I would have those two dependencies. Now, in order to build react project, I'm gonna modify the, my index, my index.html file. So here, inside the body, I would create, I'm, I'm gonna create an ID where I can load my React application. And so the ID would be app. And inside the index.js file, 
I would remove all of these and I would have to import as react from react and also import everything as react dome from react dome right and then let's build our first uh, component so class let's call it hello message extends react dot component and inside I would have ren the render method simply return which would say hi from react okay so now let's mount this uh, component on the ID so I would say let mount node equal to document dot get element by ID and we already know that we have an ID call app which is here so we have access to that uh, and then we will use react dome the hello message component and the second argument would be the mount node which is this so it will mount our application on that node now let's run the parcel command again so we'd say parcel index HTML and this time I will watch to see what really and it renders high from react okay so far so good but then my manager comes back and say okay uh, we are we have decided to use TypeScript for our react project okay so how do I configure now TypeScript well it's pretty easy if you know about TypeScript it uses uh, instead of JS file you have to use TSX file so all I'm gonna do is rename this JS file into TSX file now it complains uh, cannot read property type of undefined so we also need to provide uh, type packages uh, so there are two packages that we need to install so the first packet is npm install dash dash save types react and the second package is as you have guessed at type react dome and then I would uh, restart my server by parcel index HTML and one thing I forgot is here instead of uh, in the index.js I would have to say TSX instead and now I have a project running high from react and now if I let's say change high from react uh, TSX and save this I would get high from react TSX uh, if I look at the package.json it has automatically downloaded the TypeScript uh, as a dev dependency I don't have to do any configuration simply change the file name to TSX and install those two packages type react and type react dom and it downloads the TypeScript and configures it as well in internally so I don't have to do any configuration and so this is pretty cool um, if you have a smaller to mid-sized project and you don't want to configure your project uh, because it can get tricky this would be a right choice plus it's fast so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like don't forget to like like subscribe and provide a nice comment and thank you